Hey friends, today, May and I are gonna be talking about Up. You know, people say that the first 15 minutes or so of the movie are the best. I mean, it's true, but it, it, it also undermines the rest of the fucking movie. It's no Finding Nemo by any means, but it's still a good movie overall. It has good animation, which should be the standard, but it isn't. I like, I like how it was written. And I, and I especially like how they did Charles Muntz. Up didn't need a villain, but the way that they did Charles Muntz is good. It's pretty good. Yeah, they, 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 they did a good job with him. I also like with what I know about filmmaking now, it's impressive to see how certain cinematic techniques can be applied to animation. Overall, good movie. It, uh, ten. it has Doug. Yeah, it is absolutely no surprise that this film came out in Pixar's prime years. There were so many tiny details and beautiful pieces of symbolism that I truly adore. For example, at Ellie's funeral, notice how Carl is wearing a bow tie because he needed Ellie to tie his ties for him. And that's the same church that Ellie and Carl married in. Even with a tonal change, this movie is still thematically beautiful. There's this amazing scene where Carl is flipping through Ellie's adventure book and he sees that she wants him to go on a new adventure even after she passed away. All she wants to do is make him happy and live out his dreams. This is one of the most beautiful scenes I have ever seen in any Pixar movie to date. And it also makes the short Carl's date work perfectly. When I watched the adventure book scene again for this video, I almost cried. It's just genuinely that great. That scene is not peak cinema. This is peak cinema. And the rest of this movie is pretty excellent. The characters are all really fun. Like, I really love Russell and Doug in particular. Russell is one of the most realistic child characters I've ever seen. Like, of course everything he's gonna say here is something a child would say. And I didn't even really find him all that annoying at all. But Doug is the real comedic star of the show. He's definitely comedic relief, but he's definitely effective comedic relief. He knows how to stay serious, and he actually helps Carl out a lot. Both in mental and physical situations. And he's pretty funny too. Like, I think he's one of the best comedic reliefs I've ever seen in a feature film. Unlike this annoying thing. The dogs were most certainly made for marketing purposes, but honestly, they still really work within the story because of course Charles Muntz would have dogs with him on his adventure to find the bird. They may be made for marketing, but they work perfectly in the story. And Charles Muntz is definitely one of the better twist villains I've ever seen. There are brief clues that he might be a little bit off. This twist was most certainly necessary because of course he would go insane after many years. Of course he would try to sabotage other characters from finding Kevin. The writing here is excellent, just like the rest of this film. I've loved this film as a kid and I think I love it even more as an adult. Excellent movie, it fits into Pixar's golden years like a glove. Please go watch it if you haven't already. We'll see y'all later. We hope you liked this video and May, thanks for joining me. What? It is a turtle. What? Sit, boy. Hey, look, he's trained. Shake. Uh-huh. Speak. Hello there. <gasps> Did that dog just say hi there? My name is... Yeah.